Hello everyone, another outstanding day for art, another glorious sunrise here in, in Thailand. I hope you are enjoying this view. I am always doing, it is inspiring for me. So I am always hoping that it will be also inspiring for you. It is such a great possibility and such a privilege when really every morning is starting like, like this with such an incredible clear sunrise and even when the sunrises are different like a little bit cloudy or there's a little bit of a fog it is still so incredible and nature is always so incredible it is the best thing that is that actually happened to us as humans and I think just by being thankful for, for the opportunity to have, perhaps not like me right now, this is a real privilege, but uh, to have nature nearby or the, or the access to, to nature is something that I can highly recommend. And I can highly recommend every time when you are confronted with nature to express you gratitude that you have the possibility of access to nature and especially oh, I love this this part here uh, where the river is going back there in, in into the jungle it is so outstanding on a morning like this it is really very easy for me to set goals for for the day because it is so glorious and everything seems to be just possible uh, to, to you and I am so happy to be able to work here. Every morning I'm writing down the things I want to achieve and especially in the morning I have the feeling that everything is actually uh, achievable, it will be doable and then during the, that, uh, the day when I'm going through the to-do list I'm figuring out that actually some points are becoming difficult or overwhelming me or a part <clears throat> of the things I have to do actually uh, will be, be a challenge and then I wish sometimes I had thought this through because most likely the point I have written down what I have to do is really important but there is one thing about this um, this, this point that is making it very uh, difficult to me to, to, to achieve this. So in this way I am trying to figure out directly in the morning to use this motivation, to use this uh, upcoming energy <coughs> to be as idealistic as I can and later on figure out what actually is holding me, me back and then, then do the best out of it. I always wondered how outstanding uh, artist has used the opportunity of, of every day. I don't know exactly which artist I was reading about. It was, um, uh, it was the, his uh, very own diary where he was writing about his progress and so on. And in the same way he saw the opportunity of every, every morning, the, the energy that you are having and the possibilities of every day and uh, then how out of this is developing his, his day structure and uh, ending up in the evening most likely with, with, with a struggle. <coughs> Nevertheless, to see in every morning the opportunity, the possibility that actually everything is possible uh, is, is outstanding. You know, when you have achieve the point most likely combined with a healthier evening so you are not w uh, waking up with a headache or worries but you are waking up afresh yeah you, you have the feeling of, of the energy and the possibility of of uh, every day and during the day out of this energy of this opportunity of the possibility of doing everything um, step by step 
that things are crawling in that are making uh, our work difficult. It can be something from, from the outside actually, but it can be also something from the inside. I call it the diva effect. That is actually we know what to do. It is clear to us, but nevertheless there is a part of us that tries to sabotage even some sometimes um, our progress and it, it's doing it uh, in the way that is just shutting our energy down and we are becoming more passive not so proactive anymore we are losing the gold out, goal out of sight but it can be also in a of very uh, dramatic energizing way this is the diva that is actually blocking us and saying no you shouldn't do this because i don't like this and that part about it and, and we are it is a feeling like we would have a child really in us that is holding our uh, progress back but it is something that is very human and it is very common among the artists and even greater artists and the only thing that you can actually do is to learn to um, deal with it and overcome it or even use it and I think when I will get my ideas together this is what I will uh, today talk about how to actually use the part in us that is holding us back how to evaluate your goals in a way and transform them that they will remain doable that we can take the opportunity that is every day giving us perhaps the energized feeling of the morning like like this morning and when you are setting goals in such a state and later on this part of us this diva is coming in and try to destruct the goals we have set for ourselves and how how to use it because it is not so complicated in the end when you are setting goals you are uh, s already have specified them and clarified those goals what is happening actually that even when you have specified and clarified your goals there are some factors that you are not have thought through through and when the divine us is awakening it is most likely the coming up of the obstacles that we have not thought through and they are on the more human level or more on the emotional level and uh, they are strangely coming in later on during the planning not when we are actually sitting down and clarifying our goals but they are coming in later on because some of the goals we understand as a intellectual uh, construct and we are thinking through we are in this intellectual field of thinking but later on when we are in the um, execution of this goal other part of our emotional lead uh, uh, of our uh, other parts that are more emotionally have the chance to also have a saying and then they are kicking in so actually this is a good thing that is happening because in this way you have the possibility to thank your goals that a fixed point you have set for yourself for the day or for your own, uh, whole artistic career you have the chance to think think them through through every part not only from the intellectual part of what is necessary but also from your human emotional side and you, in this way you are you are using it and the, the only thing that is frustrating us that is uh, objections that are coming in that are holding us back are coming in so uh, so, so late this is this is everything that is making it difficult and it's also making it difficult because most likely when you are an artist or a creative you are setting your goals very much in your creative uh, zone the zone when you are depending on your creativity depending on your flow and so on and this state of mind uh, your highest creative output mode of your brain is a very delicate thing and it is easy to put it out of balance especially through emotion so when this emotional obstacles are kicking in we are very easy getting out of this balance losing our fixed point and then we are becoming very frustrated and out of this frustration a inner conflict 
most likely is awakening. This is uh, what is happening to me and some of my clients that I know of. Perhaps you have a different situation with you with, with, the, with the process of clarifying and specifying uh, your goals. For every person it is different. Perhaps you must sit down and think it through how this process of specifying your goals is happening with you. But nevertheless, you are setting your goals and you can sometimes even pick out the necessary goals and then during the, the process something is happening that is making it difficult um, for you. And the solution actually to this is really easy because what if we would listen f to this part that is awakening and trying to develop all the uh, obstacles um, and we are taking it a little bit more serious because this part of us, mostly the diva part, is not very good at expressing itself. It is more like, like a feeling of, oh, I don't want to do this, or the, your energy is going down. And it's not saying you exactly this and that is not working, please uh, work this uh, through. It is not an intellectual part of us that we can clear, clearly understand. It is a part of us that is more emotionally, and we, can, we must take the time to decode it because without um, encrypting it, it will remain a um, blockade that is in us and it, it is keeping us out of our zone in which our artistic flow or our energy to achieve things is just flowing. So what we can do during the process of planning, when you are setting your fixed points actually, you should really allow a moment when you have your fixed point, it is depending on certain things that are coming together to achieve this one goal. And then just think it through from the difficult part of you. Give the inner child or the inner diva the chance to have a say. Ask yourself, what should I drop out of the fixed point, of the, all the components of the fixed point, so I will achieve it? Or in the other direction, what should I include in this um, in, in this uh, th this goal I am setting for the day to make it more doable for me? And it, you will be really astonished what sometimes it takes to make you fulfill something. For me, it was like, uh, especially when I was working in, in London, sometimes it was really, even when I was having a lecture, to to go to the... Uh, the lecture was the fixed point, and I have to do many things for it, like preparing it, or um, come together with certain people, even difficult people, but nevertheless, there are so many things to do, and then I allow it to my inner diva, what should I add or get rid of, so... I am more willing to do this. So I am going through the procedure of achieving this goal. And it was really strange. Sometimes it was things like to promise to myself that after this lecture that was uh, when it is successful, go to a uh, pub for a pint. And <clears throat> even things like, like this, I wish it would be something healthier. Like when you finish your lecture, go and have a nice healthy salad so you are more energized for the next day it is something uh, that is highly unreasonable to do or even sometimes like drinking beer not really uh, healthy but actually this is a point that um, was missing in my planning that i should add into the, my setting into my clarifying and specifying of my goal that will make me go through and later on it was really strange because I was sitting in the pub and the friends were talking around and I figured out why this uh, diva in me or this unreasonable more emotional part wanted to go to the, um, to the pub afterwards because during their lecture I was the person that was leading that was saying do that and that uh, this so I was talking all the time and the part that I wanted in that pub was just to be entertained, just to be uh, in a group of people that are talking, that are just uh, where I just have to listen, be in a passive state. So by planning the, the high 
uh, important goal of having the lecture. I have forgotten a counterbalance of a part of a day where I am more passive. So in this way that I figured out in allowing the diva to have a word, I have figured out that when I'm planning something like lectures that are high uh, active, I have also to plan something that is more passive as a counterbalance. And in this way I know myself now a little bit better and can, the next time I'm planning, always find a place where I am more in a passive mood when a high active mood is demanding to, to me. So by actually allowing this uh, obstacles that are coming up in your mind later on, this diva or this, uh, this not good feeling and then you are letting go of the fixed point you are uh, setting. When you are using this instead, you will find out that actually uh, you will get to know you so much better and in time it is becoming a part of your planning process and the process in which you are specifying and clarifying your goals. And it can be really easy to start this process by planning the things, figuring out which fixed points are really necessary which fixed points you must go through and then take every of the fixed points and ask yourself what should I drop out of this fixed point of this process so uh, it is more likely that I will go through or even in the other direction what should I add on to this uh, fixed point from an unreasonable uh, perspective of, of seeing this so I will uh, figure uh, it out. So by taking the time to listen to all the parts of you, not only as an intellectual, not only as the artist with only his gut feeling, not only about you as, as you diva, you will actually in time develop a much higher self-understanding and this will be really gold uh, for your own uh, process. And, uh, it will also make it much more easier to work with others. Why? Especially when you are working together with artists like, like I am uh, doing, consulting artists and so on, um, they are sometimes difficult and they are unreasonable and they, are, they have demands that are unreasonable. But from one point I have asked myself, what if this small point, like the fruit basket that should wait for them, when they are arriving in the, in the hotel room or something like this, why there, there must be a reason why they are needing this. And it may be that for me, this is unreasonable on, on unnecessary because we have such a high, demanded, uh, high demanding day and even planning a food corp in the hotel room, it is just too much. And why are you such a diva? No, for this person, it it has perhaps a reason and when this person is demanding it there is a necessity behind this even if I don't understand this and from this perspective it is giving you a much better tolerance to, to others because in this way in which you are tolerating the not reasonable part of others you are starting to tolerate your unreasonable uh, part, but in a way that is productive, that is becoming pro productive. And this can be also a game changer. Perhaps what I'm right now putting together is not making so much sense, but I'm right now in the process to put everything together so that it has a higher value. Uh, for you than me just talking right now and thinking out loud. If you go to the website www.future.louvre.academy you will find most likely this, what I'm telling you right now, much better uh, expressed. So try today just this. When you have your morning and you, ha you are in a state of uh, in an energetic state that is telling you everything is possible. And normally you wouldn't use this opportunity, this high energized opportunity, because you know when you are setting goals in such a state that 
you will now follow it through because all of the obstacles uh, out uh, from, from the outside or from the inner that they will uh, destruct your, your uh, high set goals try to just do this set the goals in such a high energetic state pick the ones that are really improving the, your artistic future and then go through them with your artistic diva ask yourself what should I drop out of this goal so I will follow through or what I should add on to this goal so I will um, follow through and that just that's just try it and then a uh, uh, dialogue between you as a thinking human and reasonable human being will begin and the other more emotionally parts will also start there will be a communication because now this this emotional part the diva part of you is taking seriously as um, also as a tool of specifying and clarifying and achieving uh, goals I hope this idea is interesting uh, for you and you will use the outstanding day that you have today because every day is a great day uh, for art and just try it out and, and perhaps these are thoughts that will help you in, in your planning process and in, in specifying and clarifying your own goals. I hope one also of the goals is that you will visit my next uh, video and we will see each other then and i left uh, i will leave you with this view of this magnificent jungle behind me see you soon bye bye